Hello. I had a few light bulbs burn out, and instead of buying more, I pulled some out of storage and plugged them in and found something interesting. These are all compact fluorescents. You can see they're kind of different looking, even strange. Um, originally, all three of these were daylight bulbs. These white bulbs, it's what I used to power most of the apartment. They have a color temperature of 6500K Kelvin and produce a light that is wider than daylight. Technically they're all producing a white light, it's just at different temperatures. Daylight's about 4100 Kelvin. These wider lights are 6500 Kelvin and these, I guess, almost yellower lights are about 3000 Kelvin. Incandescent bulbs about 3000 Kelvin. Those white high intensity discharge xenon headlamps on cars, the white ones are typically about 5000 Kelvin. The ones that you see sometimes that are kind of like a bluish purple are usually either 6500 or 8000 Kelvin. Um, the lower temperatures, the yellower light, you'd want to use to light something that, you know, if you decorate in reds or oranges or yellows, the, the warmer light, the yellower light, is going to bring out your color more. If you decorate in greens or blues, you're going to want the whiter light. Uh, the whiter light is also better for doing detail work, like if you're doing hobbies or, or driving. But the interesting thing is that on these whiter lights used as headlights, the whiter light actually fatigues your eyes faster. Um, and also, at a given wattage, it, it outputs less visible light. Uh, a good example of that is the black light, the light that makes your clothes glow. Those have a color temperature of about 12,000 K. And are typically, I mean, as you can imagine, have very little usable light output. Um, you know, the fluorescent ones you see are usually 30 or 40 watt, just like the 30 or 40 watt lights you have in kitchens and grocery stores. Um, but even at that wattage, they're pretty useless as far as lighting something up. Um, just given the wavelength. Um, and you can kind of see actually with the camera it's creating a kind of a banding effect. Uh, you'll see this when you film light bulbs on digital cameras. Um, it's almost like a, um, uh, what do you call them, they use them in astronomy, the uh, uh, spectral output where you can see all the different lines on the color spectrum that a particular uh, light or radio sources outputting and then you know how those uh, shift to the left and right is, is red shifting and blue shifting and you can tell how fast something is moving away or towards you sort of like a police officer's radar gun does the same thing but anyways these are these are, these bands that are coming out are actually part of the spectrum the lights emitting it's being separated by the sensor on the camera inadvertently and as you can see it's kind of a uh, a purplish light these are the 6500 similar to the uh, the lighting you see on the purplish, bluish uh, xenon car headlights. Um, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if I have any other lights that will do that. Let me see. No. Same thing, 6500K light, purplish bands. In the bathroom I have some 3000K lights. Uh, these kind of have a it's still a bit purplish blue, but it's a lot, a lot wider. It's, it's definitely a different color being emanated. Anyway, just some light bulb stuff.